go back to our top story and Pakistan and the Taliban attack on Karachi's airport. Joining us now from Islamabad is security analyst Aisha Siddiqa. Aisha, thank you very much for joining us on the show. Now, the Karachi International Airport is a busy airport. It's a major transportation hub. The question needs to be asked, how did these gunmen, how were they able to breach such tight security? I think that's an ongoing problem, uh, it's an ongoing issue, which is we've had uh, this breach in Karachi before that, a couple of years ago we had, uh, you know, an, uh, a naval base, air base attack, before that there have been other attacks on hard targets. The thing is that these such attacks do not happen until there, there's penetration of terrorists and extremists in the security establishment, in the larger security establishment, which includes law enforcement and military. Unfortunately, because we have absolutely no accountability of law enforcement uh, and, and uh, larger security establishment, therefore we never find out how much of that penetration is really a problem and how much of that aids terrorists to come in and launch such attacks. And Ayesha, is the government aware of such infiltra infiltration and why then are they not investigating it? You know, what's very interesting is that the way news is coming, I mean, we know right in the middle of the attack, the DG Rangers, that's head of the paramilitary uh, force in Karachi, which is, you know, partially responsible for security of Karachi. His statement came, he said, you know, looks like these people are foreigners. Then we hear that, you know, the equipment is Indian. There's so many, in, but this is scattered news. Uh, a complete picture is never either presented to the public and I wonder if the political government itself has control over how these investigations will be, con con will be conducted. There is confusion, then you know there's this issue of uh, you know there's a provincial government in Karachi versus the federal government uh, you know sitting in Islamabad, you know what kind of communication do they have and largely I think you cannot solve this problem of terrorism in Pakistan without delinking it uh, you know from the larger civil military relations balance in the country that is the crux of the problem unless military and political are on the same page and unless there is a complete understanding that all kinds of extremists and terrorists will be considered as bad uh, people as terrorists I don't think that we'll get around to solving the problem of terrorism for Pakistan. All right, Aisha, thank you very much for speaking with us. Aisha Siddiqui, a security analyst, speaking to us from Islamabad.